What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Check out this bad boy right here. This is a 1993 Jaguar XJ220. This is an old school supercar. Check out those headlights. Those things actually like fold down in and the actual headlights pop up when you turn them on. It's really, really cool. This car is a uh, an oldie but a goodie, that's for sure. It's a supercar class, like I said. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Now, uh, in the last episode, we were actually up in um, whatever it's called, San Giovanni, and we were doing races there and stuff. We actually ended up barely missing the, uh, the championship and being able to win the championship. If you guys didn't see that episode, you guys definitely would have checked it out. It was pretty funny. But um, yeah, so we completed that one. And rather than telling us that we were going to be going on a road trip to the next event like it normally does, it told us to come down here and we got to do the Horizon Finale. So you guys can see 50,000 credits, 33,000 XP. I am absolutely down to do that. It looks like we're going to be using our Jaguar to be able to do that, which is, uh, is kind of cool. So here we go. Retro supercars. Let's do this thing. This is the class of cars that uh, we don't have a lot of experience with so far. So hopefully it works out well. But here we go. We're gonna have a long one ahead of us, boys. I remember this one being insanely long. We, we did it with the Bugatti Super Sport last time. So we'll see how it turns out this time. Hopefully just as successful. Street race, Horizon Finale. Objective is to finish in the top three. Wow. Some interesting car choices here. We're, there's a bowler out there. All right, this is it. The event of the summer. We've got quite a route planned out for you, so. Let's do it. Sure you're in a comfortable driving position. All right. Okay. Here we go. Focus, mate. You can do this. Where's that car's bumper? What is that? An RS5? Where the hell did his back bumper go? Okay. Here we go. Damn, this thing is fast. 150 miles an hour, just like that. I'm on way home. Woo! Come on, baby. All right. We pulled that one out. Nice job. That's what I like to see. 4% progress. Holy crap. This is going to be insane. You've earned a skill point. Oh, have I? Oh, man. We're going to have to be... Ca I remember we had a couple of wrecks in our, our old... Whatever it's called. The main championship. So we gotta got to be careful here. I'm pretty sure it was close last time. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Nice, dude. This car is badass. At fifty percent through the race. Oh gosh, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention where I'm at. Fifty percent through the race, we're gonna switch the interior. It's just so crazy. Like, it's crazy how quick and how like advanced cars were mechanically back in the day. Like, this thing is nearly as old as I am, and it's still pulling speeds like this, and just. It's an absolute monster and, and will still destroy most cars on the road today, including supercars. But then you've got stuff like, uh, in terms of like technology-wise, like the, the Tesla, the McLaren, or stuff like that, like the technology and the... Like, look at the gauges in this thing. Look at this. This is like... Look at the freaking... Uh, like, temperature adjustment knob. Like, that looks like something out of a freaking old school Ford. Like, it's just it's crazy to see, like, just how far cars have come since then. 13% uh, This is going to be a long race. Hopefully you guys have got your popcorn ready. And we're going off into the trees. So, I have to be careful here. We still have a pretty big lead. I think this is going to be more like a cruising episode than anything else. We're going to get through it to be able to get to the next race. I think, um, I think we're going to stay on this island for a few more episodes. I think we're going to blow some cash. I think we're going to ball out. I want to check out the Koenigsegg. I'm going to check out a couple other cars. Actually, that's a, a good idea. I think the next episode we're going to do Koenigsegg, which I believe is like 700-something thousand. And we um, we currently have, I think, about 1.7 or 8 million. We're going to earn 50K from this. We have a bunch of wheel spins and stuff. So we have some money. What cars would you guys like to see? I want to do, like I said, the Koenigsegg in the next episode, the Gera R. Then after that, We'll probably do like two, three, maybe four more cars, depending on what we can afford. And then once we're done with that, oh shit, this guy's back on our butt. 
Once we're done with that is when we'll head back to Storm Island. So we'll do like, you know, I don't know, four or five more episodes over here. And then we're gonna head back to Storm Island and, and finish that out. And then as more DLC comes out over here, we'll kind of keep switching back and forth and, and having fun with everything. Oh my gosh. That was an invisible wall on that thing there. We ran into it at first and then we tried to go forward and it wouldn't let us because there was an invisible wall. And then we, we weren't still behind it. So here we go. All right, just trying to make it interesting for you guys. Honestly, I was kind of taking it a little bit easy because I didn't want us to to fully just dominate the competition the whole race. This makes it fun. But. Yeah, leave comments down below. I think Lambo event. No, we did do the event store in this game. We absolutely did do the event store. I remember that now. We had the Black Tail Batmobile. Yeah, that one was good. Um, if there are any other cars you guys want to see, any supercars, anything like the, the Hennessy Venom or. You know, stuff like that. Leave comments down below. And uh, I'll come back to this episode, and that's how I'll choose the cars that come after the credit sick. Risque. Wow. What a shortcut. No way. <laughs> oh, man. Next checkpoint. Oh, it's all the way over here. What? A sh that was the biggest shortcut we've ever taken. Like that. It's not even close. Like that guy's still back on that giant roundabout U turn. Solid. Speed, ultimate air. We're looking good, baby. 30% done. Oh, yes. Checkpoint. It's over here. Let's go for it, baby. Hell yeah! Look at these shortcuts. We <laughs> just... Oh man, that's funny. Let me get back down here. Nice. Just flying 150 miles an hour through the freaking back roads and fields and stuff. Oh gosh. Back on the road. Woo! What the hell did we just get stuck on? See, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of invisible walls. We're catching on. This thing looks like a spaceship. That's what I went for. I got like this metallic silver. It looks pretty cool. I don't like the like tribal flames on the side. Freaking tramp stamp on what would be a beautiful car, but each his own. Man, the shortcuts are real, dude. Look at these tiny little checkpoints, too. I don't think so. Whew. That would have been a big mistake. I'm gonna try to beat these guys as bad as I possibly can. I'm gonna take every single shortcut that we can find. You good? Checkpoint straight up here. Getting close to the 50% mark, then we're gonna switch inside this thing. Damn, dude. We almost, we almost been playing for 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes into the episode and seven and a half minutes into this race and we still aren't, still aren't 50% through. Solid. Uh-oh. Got some snake turns coming up. Check it. Mm, baby. Woo. Wasn't the best one, but... Wow, where did he come from? What the hell? 
Now that's just not possible. Have you guys been watching the thing down the bottom left? I just realized that he's now right on our butt. That's, we were literally miles ahead of him. He, he had to have teleported. I'm all right with that game. I want to keep it interesting. I'm, I'm cool with you teleporting people. You just got to tell me. Be like, yo, Trev, I'm about to teleport some, some people up next to you, man. You better be ready for this. There's no way that he's been going fast enough to catch up. We've been flying and taking enormous shortcuts. Alright, 49%. Y'all ready for this? Boom. Inside this bad boy. Gosh, this thing is so old. 93. That's insane. This would be a fun car to have, though. Like, I wonder what the price on one of these things is. I'm sure it's outrageous, but it'd be fun to have just because nobody would, like, know what it is. They'd all be like, oh, my gosh, what the hell are you driving? I'm always a fan of just kind of, like, different stuff. I don't want to conform and have the same stuff everybody else has. That'd be kind of cool. I think I'm going to look up the price at the end of this episode, if I remember. If you guys are interested in that, stick around. We'll figure it out. Those gauges over in the left choke. Trade and paint, baby. Here we go. Oh, into the guardrail. Imagine if this game didn't have guardrails and we would just go flying off the side of the map like on this cliff over to our right There's no way we would have been able to complete this <laughs> Damn this is beautiful. I want to take a look outside for a minute. Wow look at that. Oh gosh Woo! That's enough scenery for one day. That's enough scenery for one day. <laughs> All right, RNK Onage. Jammy Fofo, I'm coming for you. Six to one percent, boys. Nice Rari, bro. Or no, that's an Alfa Romeo. In the back, those kind of look like the new um, F12s. Damn. Let's try to hit 200. We're hitting 200 right here. No, we probably won't. We're going to run out of land. 195. Oh my gosh, we were so close. 198. That's a tease. All good. Just get a little booty tapping out here. Trees. Woo! Look at these big old boats out here. What are we doing here? Turn left. Yep. Oh, this guy wants it. I'll give it to him. I gotta give it up. He's trying. I'm always nervous when we take inside corners like this that there's going to be another car right on the other side. It's pulling up. Just run right into him. All right, three quarters of the way there, boys. That's what I like to see. I'm good.
I went through some tunnels like this and I moved out to LA and back from LA going through the Rockies and stuff. They're really cool, man. I was just driving in a U-Haul. Or not in a U-Haul, in my truck, I mean. So it wasn't it wasn't anything special. But I want to take like a, a nice car in there and just like rev them and stuff. Cause it's cool, like the echoes and stuff like that. I just realized this thing doesn't even have a uh, an airbag. That's not good. Unless it's in that little circle inside the steering wheel. I feel like it wouldn't really fit in there, but maybe. I wonder who came up with the idea of an airbag. Seriously. Like, who thought, like, oh, in our cars we should have, like, a giant inflatable cushion that pops out when you wreck. That's a genius idea. Cruising the coastline, baby. 83%. We're almost there, boys. About to get that money. I think we got a million dollar bonus for winning the first one, didn't we? Something like that. Nice little skill combo going. Ah! telling us to go left. I feel like right is faster. So we'll see if that pays off. Somebody else takes it. Doing pretty well here, boys. I don't think anybody else took that one, so I think we're good. I think we probably should have taken it if we would extend our lead. All right, back here in Nisei Messina, the harbor. Woo. We've been racing pretty well, though. We've been rubbing a little bit, but nothing, nothing crazy. Nine percent left. It's been a fun one. Let's let's end it back outside. I miss looking at that that nice booty. It's actually kind of more fun inside. I like inside, dude. It makes me feel like I'm actually there. I've never had an appreciation for this few games until recently. Like the lot when we did the crew, we did a little bit. This game, we did it quite a bit. I think Forza Five, when that came out last year, was the first game that I really ever like tried to do this because you guys suggested I do it. But like just as a kid, like I always wouldn't be able to see out uh, outside the car. I didn't have an appreciation for you know, being inside, <coughs> inside and stuff like that. And now I, I really like it. It's cool. I want to get one of those like. I've seen it on like Imager and Reddit and stuff. Like there's these people that have these giant like they spend like you know five or six thousand dollars on it, which is just absolutely nuts. Oh, shit. Let me make sure we're okay here. But they spend like five or six thousand dollars on it, which is nuts. But it's so cool. It's like an actual like racing seat that like moves with like your car and like working shifters and oh, it would be nuts to be able to have something like that. Wouldn't really be good for Let's Play, but just a play racing game. Sure. Alright, here we go. We finally made it back. A loop around the entire map. We got it done, boys. We held it down. P.O.P. Pimp Squad. Nice job. Alright. So let's go ahead and collect our winning... Ooh, that's a pretty beat up car, I'm not gonna lie. Collect our winnings. 77,000 credits. 48,000 XP, oh yeah, 67, wow, 67 to 70, that's pretty badass, alright, cool, anyway, I'll see you guys next episode, we're gonna check out the Koenigsegg Gagera R, after that, we'll check out whatever cars you guys leave down in the comments, catch you guys later.